Hey guys, um, it's me back again. Um, it's been a while since I posted. Uh, so today's December 2nd and I'm thinking about doing a uh, vlogmas and I'm going to try to do every day this month and let me see if I can adjust this camera a little bit. <laughs> Oops, I can sideways. Okay. Um, I'm in my dining room today. Not in the craft room because I'm in the middle of renovating the craft room. Um, I'm redoing it again. Obviously, I always redo the craft room. But I'm going to take some of the furniture out. And then I'm going to build my own craft desk. And I bought some paint. I'm going to paint it. And then I'm getting some stencils. And I'm going to redo. Um, I'm going to put uh, dragonflies and unicorns all over it with stencils. And um, so... Anyway, so this is going to be a quick video just to give you an update. Um, I just got out of work. As you guys know, I work 11P to 7A and um, nothing much going on. Kids are doing virtual learning, so you'll probably hear them in the background. I got to sit here and make sure they do their learning and stuff, but I'll be heading to bed soon because, um, like I said, I just got out of work. Um, what's been going on with me? Nothing much. Um, I went to the doctors recently. He said that I'm pretty much healthy. Um, and But I hurt my shoulder and it was bothering me for a while. So I went to the doctors and I found out that I tore my rotator cuff. And I also have rotator cuff tendonitis combined with it. It's a very small tear, but it could escalate and I might need surgery in the long run, but not right now. So, um, I have to go through physical therapy and, um, that's going to be a long road ahead, which sucks because as you guys know, I'm a CNA and I'm working right now. So working and turning people and stuff like that, it could do more damage, but you know, some of us can't afford to be out of work. So, plus I love my job. I was out for a whole week and I got bored. I got really bored. Crocheting is really, really hard right now. It just took me a long time to finish one amigurumi because my shoulder was hurting really bad. So, crocheting is really hard right now. So, I'm going to try to show you what I got done. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you daily, just an update of my life. And I'm, if you're interested, if you're not interested, you don't have to watch, you don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe, or just just move on. I mean, you don't have to watch. Just I just want to try to do Vlogmas just to try to get subscribers and stuff like that. And, and I think if you've been watching this long, because we're already in uh, three minutes, because I don't have my glasses on. I think, can't see crap no more. Um... I have to go get my eyes done. I have reader glasses from the dollar store, but I really have to go get my eyes done. And, um, so if you've been watching this long, I just want to make an announcement that when I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. I don't know what it is yet. I, I don't know what I'm giving away yet, but it will be a good gift. So if I hit five, 500 subscribers, then I'll do a giveaway. Then... Um, I look forward to getting the subscribers, but if I don't, I am glad that you guys are loyal. I am glad that you guys are still here. I am glad that you guys st stuck with me, even though I haven't posted. So, anyways, you came here for the crochet stuff, so let's get down to the crochet stuff. So, I started, I keep hitting the iPad, so it's shaking. I'm sorry about that. And the table is shaking. Um... Like I said, I'm in my dining room. I still have Halloween lights up from last year. I started taking them down, and then I didn't finish taking them down. So now they're half up and half down, and I just figured Christmas is coming. Might as well just leave them. And then these Christmas stockings have been up there for a couple years. So, um, yeah, I'm bad at taking things down. Really. I'm a procrastinator. Badly. Um... You can see the picture of my family in the background. We have a fair 
Texas State Fair that has been going on for 105 years here in in Massachusetts. And um, it's called the Big E, Easter States Exposition. And every single year we have gone since I was a kid. Every single year. And because of COVID, they canceled it this year. It has never been closed for any reason in the last 100 years. And because of COVID, they closed it this year. But every single year, I get a family picture. And on my wall, I'm not going to show you all the pictures, but on my wall is all the pictures. And you can see how my kids have grown over the years. But that's basically it. I'm not the best decorator, but on my walls, I have artwork of my kid. My kid's artwork. I have some pictures, but I have a lot of artwork from years of them doing stuff in school and stuff like that. Um, most of my pictures are in boxes or on poster boards and stuff like that. And then I have an Irish flag up, a Yankees flag up. Yeah, just stuff like that. Just telling you a little bit about my background. Um, like I said, if you don't want to hear it, you don't have to watch. I'm not being rude about it. I just, it's my channel and I just want to vlog about it. Um, I get uncomfortable in my chair. So it's 12 days till my birthday. Um, I can't wait to see what I'm getting for my birthday. Um, I'm just listening for a minute. Because if somebody comes down, I'm just going to pause the video and then I'm going to re reconvene. So it's 12 days till my birthday. And um, I might go out to lunch with my friend and my oldest son, his girlfriend, and my daughter. I'm going to try to do that. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen right now. Because my boys, I have them every single day. Now, let me explain to you. Um, my boys, Ben and Teddy are 17 and 14. They both have autism. So they're high functioning, very high functioning, but they're somewhat difficult sometimes. Ever since the remote learning started last year, I've been with them every single day. I work at night. I stay home with them during the day. Before remote learning started, I was used to having my days to myself, doing what I had to do, running my errands and everything. Now I have them every single day. If I have to run errands, I have to take them with me and they have to miss school. Or I have to wait till they're out of school. Um, or I have to wait till my husband gets home. It's, it's hard. I'm not complaining. At, for no reason at all am I complaining about taking care of my kids. But all I want is a day off for my birthday. A day off to go out to lunch with the people I chose and have a day to myself without them to fighting, without them to arguing. I know fighting and arguing are the same thing. And see, you could hear them. You could hear them in the background. They're playing a video game because they're on a break from a class because they have asynchronous class today, which means the teachers, it's a teacher's work day or something. So... They have to wait till the next class starts. So in between classes, they play video games. And they just get really loud. And then multiple times I have to yell at them to be quiet. And I don't know how many times a day I cook for them. Or prepare their meals. And I mean, it seems like I'm feeding them a hundred times a day. Like I said, I'm not complaining. I just want a break. That's all I want for my birthday. But it doesn't seem like I'm going to get that. So anyways, on a brighter note, back to the crocheting. So somebody asked me a few months ago to make them wedding bears. They asked me back in July and said they needed them for Christmas. So, of course, me being a procrastinator, I waited and waited and waited. And then I just finished them a couple weeks ago. I don't have them because I gave them to her. But I'm going to show you a picture of them. They came out really 
really cute. Sorry. So this are my wedding bears. This box right here, I built myself. I took four, one, two, three, four, five foam boards and made the box. And then I put my information in the background. So it's my photo box. That's how I take my pictures of my projects. So because I was taking pictures of projects and then there was stuff in the background. So I figured I'd do better pictures or something. Um, but those are my wedding bears. Now, after that, I use the same pattern. Now, this is a pattern from Amigurumi Today. It's an app, and it's free. And it's, you guys might recognize it. It's the Stitches Bear. That's what I used. I used that bear for this. See, it's the same bear. And then this one. And I kind of just, the pattern that I found, my phone is dirty. Um, the pattern that I found for the wedding dress and the, the tuxedo um, didn't fit. So I had to basically come up with my own pattern. What I did was right here, I did brown, red heart brown. And then I did, and then I changed colors to black so it looked like he had pants on. And then I changed back to brown, so this is brown. And then the jacket is separate, and the hat is separate. Now on here, on here, I did white on the feet, switched to the brown. Then I did white here so it looks like she has gloves on it. And then I did brown. Oh, sorry, you can't see. And then... I did a little thing on the top. This was from a pattern that actually fit, but the dress did not fit. So I basically had to make my own pattern. I'm not good at making my own pattern, so I didn't write it down or anything. I just basically had, what do I have all over my hand? Oh, syrup or something. I'll have to wash that later. Um, but so let me show you what I made at the same time I made these because what happened was I made two bears before I made these two bears and I'll explain so I made this bear this is the stitches bear and then I made this bear this is the stitches bear this was supposed to be the bride. This was supposed to be the groom without the stitches. But I realized you can't put a white wedding dress on a white bear. You could put a black tuxedo on a white bear, but you can't put a white wedding dress on a white bear. And then you can't have a white bear and a brown bear. So I ended up with two extra bears. Now, so my son said that this is the maid of honor. This is the best man. So... But these two bears, I'll just let you know that they're up for sale. I have an Etsy shop. I'm going to link it. But my nothing sells in my Etsy shop. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But nothing sells in there. I have so many projects and they don't sell at all. And But these are for sale for $20 a piece. Or you can get two for $35. So... I'm gonna squish this one's head down. Her head looks retarded. So, those are the first two. So then I started working. Um, let me make sure that it was the next project. Sorry, let me just skip through this real quick. Oh. First of all, let me show you my cute little kitty. That's my new little kitty. Kitty. She started out as Nala, a little girl, and then we found out she was a little boy. So her name is Simba. His name is Simba. So mm, 
Come on. I got so many pictures in here. So let me tell you about TikTok. Okay, so first of all, for my boy's birthday, Ben and Teddy's birthday, we had a painting party. And look at my beautiful painting. Isn't my unicorn beautiful? No, it's not. Don't even lie. It's not beautiful at all. <laughs> I can't draw worth crap. But my daughter can. Because look at her painting. Um, My daughter does custom made drawings. If anybody's interested, she does sell her drawings. She can basically draw anything. And she does it on canvases. So here's my daughter-in-law's drawing too. Um, but my daughter is a real artist. She can do anything. Um, so let me tell you about TikTok. I discovered TikTok a couple weeks ago, about two weeks ago. I made a TikTok video. I will link it. And I made it with Ben because Ben's good at editing and stuff. And I went and got 84,000 views on my first video. So I made more videos. Didn't get as much views. Got 300, 100, stuff like that. But my first video, I got 84,000 views. I was shocked. So shocked. Ben said, first YouTube, now TikTok. Mom, you're succeeding more than we are. <laughs> so um, that's why I'm going to try to keep, keep up on my YouTube. I'm going to try to succeed at this. Um, it's already been 16 minutes and I'm not even really talking about anything. I'm really trying to find. So I went and bought all kinds of fabric to make masks. Um, Walmart had fabric. I have this fabric. This one. I'm just going to keep going through them. These are fabrics. Again, these are up for sale. I make custom masks. I can make a kid size. Or I can make adult size. I also have some other fabrics. Okay. So, the next picture is what I wanted to show you. So, I downloaded a few patterns. And... I will show you these, the pictures of the patterns, but I cannot show you the pattern because they are paid patterns and I did pay for them. So I cannot show you the actual pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the pictures of the patterns. I will link them below. They are really cool. I got them on Etsy. They were $5 a piece, which I do not mind paying. These are... Basically, up, 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 upcoming patterns that I'm going to be making. So, first of all, oh, excuse me. I'm going to make sets of claws. Mrs. Claus. No, I can't show you that one yet because I made that one and I want to show you the real thing. The Nutcracker. And these are all made by Mary. Um, and then this one. This one was made by uh, Terry at Yarnjoy. She does not own the pattern, but she made this gingerbread boy. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to make that, like I said, these are upcoming patterns. Um, so I started working on, I will show you a picture of him because he looks nothing like what I made. Jack Frost. Now, first of all, Jack Frost took me forever. For one, my shoulder. And for two, I just only worked at him at night at my job. So, he took me forever. Let me show you Jack. Don't laugh. Okay, guys, don't laugh. 
Okay, you can laugh because I won't even know if you're laughing. So let me get his hat. Okay, you ready? See his hat? See him? He's got big feet. He's really, really tall. See? Really, really tall. You put him way back here. See, he doesn't look nothing like the pattern. He doesn't look like Jack Frost either. He doesn't look like an elf. But there's a reason why. This color right here is light blue. I was supposed to get a silver, silver blue from Vanna's Choice. I didn't have it. I didn't, I didn't go look for it. So I figured I could use this color, not knowing that it's going to blend too much with this color. And then I started the pattern and I was like, eh, forget it. I'll just do it like that. But he would have looked better with silver. He would have looked better if this was silver like a regular silver instead of gray but like i said he's done it's whatever but his hat keeps falling off i think i'm gonna sew his hat on give me your opinion if you think i should sew his hat on or not okay so then a friend of mine contacted me and she said um she said that she wanted me to make her crap. I'll show you a picture of the pattern. Which is not coming out the way it's supposed to be. Most of my patterns do not come out the way they're supposed to be. But most of them come out really good. But this one is just not. I don't know. Maybe if it, when it's done, it'll look better. This is. Oh, sorry, wrong side. This is the crab. Oh, you know what I did? I put the eyes on the wrong side. That's what I did. Eyes are on the wrong side. So, that's the crab. And the pattern is by dinagurumi.com. And she has, or he has a bunch of patterns that are really, really cute. I paid for that pattern, too. But, okay, so she wanted a rainbow crab never heard of a rainbow crab so i had to basically mickey mouse it and figure it out myself so this is my rainbow crab but he kind of looks like elmo eyes i think the eyes were supposed to more go like this in but so i think when i put the shell on and then put the claws on right here and then put the legs on i think it'll look better but i mean do you think what do you think do you think well, this it's a little awkward but do you think it looks good or do you think it will look good or i don't know let me know let me know so anyways i think i'm gonna let you go i'm gonna edit this video get it uploaded and then i guess i'll talk to you guys tomorrow and let you know what's going on probably not gonna have nothing much crocheted tomorrow but like i said it's going to be a vlogmas, so you're going to hear basically about my life for the next 31 days. No, sorry, 29 days. 29 days. But my birthday is 11 days away, so you get to hear about that for the next 11 days. Yay! <laughs> All right, so um, happy crocheting. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.